Hi everyone, I am Nicole Chapman and I'm creating this little video for one of my classes that I'm taking. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to use Google Drive and just show you some of the nice little fun things that you can do with it. So first go up and create a new tab. We're going to go into Google and next we are going to sign in and I have to sign in so let me enter my information just a second all right so if you have an account go ahead and sign in and if you don't go ahead and sign up for an account up at the top I'm gonna just save my password real quick and what is this uh, just gonna skip it so moving on now what we'll do is go up to drive up at the top go ahead and click on that and that's going to take us to something that looks like this um you may not have any documents but i do and um, to create something you want to go up to create at the top and then you have a number of options that you can choose from you can create a document which is like any word processing word processor, excuse me. Then you can create a presentation or a spreadsheet or a form. Um, forms are really great because your information will come back to you in the form of a spreadsheet, which is so much easier and it helps you just read your results quicker. And then of course you can create something by drawing it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a document Ah, uh, here we go. So this is what it'll look like. The first thing you should always do is change your title. So I'm just going to name it Sample. The next thing you want to do is edit your sharing settings. So right now, it'll automatically set it to private, but you can change it to public on the web, anyone with the link, or private. I'm going to just go ahead and make it public on the web and oh forgot um you can also edit who can access well what the accessor can do can they edit comment or just view it so i'm just going to leave it with view and save it one more option you can do is you can invite people to also share the document with you and then you can also um change the setting to send them an email or not upon sharing it with them so let's go ahead and share, uh, save and share. And now what you're looking at is just something that looks similar to any kind of word processor where you have your toolbar up at the top with all the fancy little knickknacks. Um, you also can form in your page anyway. You can insert an image or a link. Um, you can change all the different little settings up at the top, create a table, use different kinds of tools. And that's that. It's real simple. If you've used anything like Microsoft, then you're probably all set to just start working and just type and have some fun. Thank you.